Hi everybody! Today we're going to do science and we are going to be learning about the different layers of dirt, soil, and then I'm going to make a little tasty treat. Um, so you can follow along at your house if you have these things and make it with me and if not, maybe next time you're at the grocery store. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to watch a brain pop about soil with Annie and Moby. So check it out. And while you're listening, listen for the layers of the soil. So I'm going to share my screen. And here they go. <laughs> Moby, what are you doing? You're feeding the plant? Uh, plants don't eat burgers. No, they don't eat that either. Plants get their food from the sun and the soil. But what is in soil? Well, almost all plants need soil to grow. So soil must have important stuff in it. Let's take a look. Hmm, I see lots of stuff. Some are living and some are non-living. Right, that worm is definitely living. But there are also non-living things, like rocks. I know rocks are made of minerals, so plants must need minerals to grow. Oh, I see bits of dead grass and leaves too. Those used to be living, but now they're not. And look, there's a dead bug. Grandpa says when things die, they decom decompose. They break down and turn into humus, which is thick and black. Moby, what are you digging for? Hey, check out all those layers. What are the different layers of soil? Topsoil's on the surface, and it's really dark. So there must be a lot of humus. I bet it's really good for growing plants. Below the topsoil is the subsoil layer. It's lighter, so there must be less humus. And this is bedrock. It's really hard. Hmm. I know they're different layers of soil, but they're definitely different kinds of soil, too. So, what are some different kinds of soils? Wow, there are plants everywhere. The soil in the forest is thick and black and has a lot of humus. It's pretty damp, too, so the soil must hold a lot of water. Near the lake, the soil has a lot of sand in it. It's lighter than the forest soil, so... It must have less humus in it, and it's pretty dry, so I guess sandy soil doesn't hold much water. And on this farm, the soil looks really different. It's red. It's pretty thick. And it feels really squishy. I bet the color comes from the minerals in the rocks. Nice, Moby. I guess soil is pretty useful. Hmm, why is soil important? There's nothing to be scared of, Moby. That rabbit eats plants, not robots. I know plants need soil to grow, and animals need plants to grow. So I guess that means animals need soil. Right. And since we eat plants, we need soil, too. Hmm. I guess almost all living things need soil. And robots need mud pies. All right. So, we are going to make our own soil dirt cake with all the different layers that Annie just talked about. So, I have a guest. Mr. Cam is going to come help us and he's going to make the dirt cake too. Mostly because he wants to eat it. 
So here we are. I have to tilt the screen down so that you can see our dirt cups. So there they are. And we have to go backwards from the bottom up. So that very bottom layer that Annie talked about was called bedrock and it was super, super hard. So the first thing we're gonna put in is something super, super hard. And I have to break it apart so it'll fit in the cup. If you're trying to make this at home, what does it look like we're using? Make a guess. We're using graham cracker and it's super hard like the bedrock. It doesn't break easily. Then what did Annie say was on top of the bedrock in the middle? It was kind of like the in the middle color. It wasn't super dark or super light. Subsoil. So the subsoil is a little softer. We are going to use pudding for the subsoil. And it's going to go right on top of the bedrock. Subsoil. And the subsoil, she said, has less humus, which makes it a little bit lighter. Okay? Now, hold on to your spoon. Mr. Cam's eating his subsoil. So now, last on the very top, was the super, super dark layer that had lots and lots of humus that was good for plants. It was what? The top soil. So we have Oreo. We're gonna break it up. We're gonna put it in the top. Ignore the white part, right? Because the top soil is super dark. We might need another one for more top soil. So we have That's lots of white. We should have probably taken the white off. So the very bottom, we have bedrock with graham cracker. It's super duper hard. Then in the middle, we have subsoil with the pudding. It's a little bit lighter than the top soil. Okay. And then at the very top, we have the top soil. It's super dark with lots and lots of hummus. Ignore our white cream from our Oreos. What might you find crawling around in that top soil? Think about it. Did you say worms? We might have worms crawling around in there. So we have worms crawling around in our top soil. That's all the layers. So now we can take a big bite of soil. Mmm. Mmm. So that was good. So that was good. All right. So if you have these things at your house, you can go ahead and make it. Maybe you have other things at your house that you can layer up that represent the bedrock, the subsoil, and the topsoil. Go ahead when you're done and get on Seesaw and write me a little note on the notepad about the three different layers of soil and what's special about each layer. We're going to go eat our dessert. Bye, guys.